In this tutorial, I'll show you a little shortcut for uh, helping model your scene a little bit quicker sometimes. I'm using version 2.63a. So I have um, this object in question right here, just a cube and a sphere, and they're one object. But I didn't join them together, a conventional way of placing one object in the scene and then another and then joining them. And sometimes I'll show you how I work. I'll get rid of this guy here. We'll just add a cube to the, well, let's see. Let's put the cursor to the center, Shift S. I'll add a cube to the scene like this. And then I'll give it a color and I'll move it up here. And then I'm going to put the cursor back into the center. Shift S, cursor, cursor to selected like this. And now, now normally if you want to add say something else, maybe you're modeling and you want to model based on, you know, primitive something, a cone or something like maybe I put this over here and I add a cone to the scene and I'll give it a different color, scale it up a little bit. And then maybe, you know, whatever scene I'm making, you know, this object that I'm making, maybe I want it to be, I don't know, to look like this. So I sit here and align it somehow and I get it just right and then I click on both of them like this. Whoops, don't want to click on that light. I click on that one and I click on that one and then I can join them together and hopefully they're lined up perfectly right. Sometimes what you have done is you'll click on that one, bring up the menu, find out what the X and Y locations are, then make sure this is lined up into the scene. So sometimes an easier way to work is forget that. So I'll get rid of the cone and with this object here, I'll bring the cursor to the center of it like this. And then um, when I add another object, if I just add an object to the scene, say I'll add a cone again. Oh, I can't see it. Well, he's too small, but he's there. I can barely see him and I can just move him out of the way. So I have a distinct object separate from that. All right, so if I'll get rid of that and then get rid of it. He's still in there. All right. I'm going to scale this down just a little bit. All right. So now this time though, before adding it to the scene, I'll just go into edit mode and I'll stay in edit mode. Then when I add the cone to the scene like this, then it becomes a part of the scene. So now when I tab out of it, I've instantly added it and now it's just a single object like that. All right, okay now, so that's not that big a lesson, but sometimes this is a really valuable lesson to know. It's really useful, and, um, and it can be useful for saving you from making errors as well. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.